the fundamental drivers that are leading sort of the interest in uh, Hadoop and the adoption of Hadoop, really I kind of root it down into a couple of key statistics that IDC sort of has tossed out there. They basically said over this decade, the amount of data that enterprise data centers will be processing will grow by 50x. That's a staggering number. The other one is, if you look at data flow and what enterprise data centers will be touching, um, so there's stored and unstored portions of this equation, 80% of that data flowing through enterprise data centers will be required to touch in some form or fashion. They may not store it, but it will flow through the business. So sort of the volume, the velocity, um, the variety of data flowing through enterprises are, are key elements. And if you look at sort of the traditional application architectures today, they're really not set up for that challenge. Um, they're really running out of steam, and they have been over the you know, past few years. And Hadoop, on the other hand, is a technology that really was designed for that, you know, the volume and the variety and the velocity of data, right? It, it, it can store unstructured data, semi-structured data, you know, very, very well across commodity hardware. So it's able to do it in an economics model that also makes sense. The future of Hadoop as we see it at Hortonworks, we have sort of a vision, if you will, that we put out there. Our vision is over 50% of the world's data will be processed and or touched by Hadoop by 2015. So what are some of the things that have to happen in support of that? First and foremost, Apache Hadoop is an open source technology, so it makes it very widely available. So broad availability of the technology is sort of step one. The second element of the equation is creating a broad and vibrant ecosystem in and around that and enabling that ecosystem, right? So it sort of goes hand in glove with the open source technology, providing you know, open APIs around that platform, but really focusing at Hortonworks as a business on enabling sort of the key vendors and solution providers and platform vendors up and down the data stack to be able to integrate their solutions uh, that may already be within the enterprise today you know, integrate them very tightly with this next generation data platform so they're able to offer more value to their existing enterprise customers.